Is your nickname Buck Divot? Nope. It probably is, it probably is now. Thanks for Buck teaching her that. It's his first hat. His first real hat. His first real hat. That's what I like to hear. Well, I have that Revolutionary War one. Well, you do have that one. Are you ahead of? You want to be about an eighth quarter above your ears? Okay. That's a damn good fit. Leave that on just for a bit. I want to check that spot right there. Okay. That's called an indicator. Indicator spot. Indicator. And you'll see it. I mean, I've had people put hats on, especially somebody with a long oval. They'll put the hat on. They'll fit really tight front to back, but you can take your fingers, put them on each side of your head. And that's called clearance. And it all depends on how much clearance you have and what you can do with the hat. It takes about 23 years to figure that out. <laughs> Anytime somebody comes in, their name's Clarence. I never have enough clearance on. <laughs> I heard you saying that you could adjust his hat and bring the clearance in. So I understand how this would make it go out in the length. Yes. Yeah, how do you bring the clearance in? You just hold it. Okay. This is like a six and a half, six and five eighths. Yeah, yeah. It feels good. Okay, this is. So, when I pull this, when I put this in there, he's going to have a gap on each side. Yeah. So when I steam that and I start move, making a move on it, I'm going to pull it this way and it's going to pull the sides in. This is the largest antique flange or block collection. On the what are they side. called? This is a stretcher. Okay. Stretcher. These are flanges. flanges. This is what we finish a brim in. And then the blocks is what we block a hat. And when we block a hat, come here. Look at all the blocks. Now when we block a hat, we'll take and put a hat on this block. Then we use a hatter's knot. And we'll cinch that hat to this block. Then we use a tool called a pusher downer. The pusher downer is we move that rope to the bottom of the brim. Once we get it on the door and block machine, then we'll kick it in gear. We put this in gear. What this does, this heats up. As this rotates, it rotates really slow, but it'll go around like this, and then it'll come back. Go around like this and come back. There we go. Now you see how it's moving? This is 1915 dorm block machine. Wow. And we still use it to this day. The only thing I've ever had to do to them is their contacts are about as big as your thumbs. Uh -huh. You take a file, you file a little bit off, and you, that's all you gotta do. As this heats up, it's called pressing the felt, pressing the crown. And all these are all different sizes, different shapes and configations. How long did it take you to get those? I bought a, I bought a you buy, buy, I was gonna say, in you 1894. Must... Oh, wow. And I bought, it was complete with, with all Everything. this crazy stuff. This wheel comes around and it'll reverse and it'll go back the other way. Wow. And what does the hat look like when you start with it? Is it kind of a big, it's like a... No way. That's a raw body. So now it starts off real a... fuzzy like that. No, this no. is a grizzly. Okay. This is actually his head. That's a raw body too. Now once we get done blocking it, then we'll take it while it's on the machine, we'll sand it with a palm sander. Really? Just like sanding, sanding Wood. cabinetry. No way. And then once we do that, then we'll take it in, we'll brim flange it, brim flanging. I custom made, well here's some of the flanges right here, and they're all different sizes. Right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we take a brim flange it, all steam it. I drop it in the flange and I put a press on And it breaks that edge to a 90. Then once we do that, we get that all done, then we sand it, sand the whole thing down. Then we brim trim it to the width that they want. Yeah. And then we put the sweatband in it. And you, so the sweatband gets sewn in. Right? Yeah, by this machine here. We we sold quite a bit with this, but we do a lot of hand sewing. Yeah, hand sewing. Wow.